Hi everyone, and here's my video for this year's virtual protest of the American Psychiatric Association's annual meeting. The purpose of the protest is to speak out against psychiatric detention, forced drugging, financial exploitation, and all of the forms of psychiatric abuse. I myself am a psychiatric survivor, and here's my story. In July of 2017, I was falsely accused of making a suicidal threat and locked up against my will for six days. The place where I was locked up was labeled a hospital, but it was really just a human warehouse. We spent all of our time locked in a day room, watching daytime TV shows, and doing coloring sheets. There was absolutely no true treatment or help or therapy of any kind. These six days were the most horrifying days of my life. One of the worst parts was when I first arrived at the facility, I was forced to strip completely naked in front of a guard for a search. This was very traumatizing. No one ever spoke to me individually at all about the topic of suicide, even though I was being held there ostensibly to be treated for suicidal thoughts. Being locked in the facility for this long was also a huge waste of insurance money. My insurer paid this facility against my will $1,200 per day that I was detained plus hundreds in doctor's fees. These doctors at the facility only spoke to me for about 60 seconds or less, and each time they would just tell me the same thing, you're not getting out. This happened to me in Georgia, but I know it's happening all over the country and pretty much all over the colonized world. If you are a psychiatrist, Please reconsider your actions and please stop doing this to people. You're harming people and it's wrong. If you are a survivor like me, please join me in continuing to speak out and spreading public awareness about what really goes on in these types of facilities. We cannot stay silent. We cannot be too scared of what people are gonna think or too embarrassed. We have to speak out for ourselves and for our friends and for all the people that are being locked up every single day and tortured. We must band together and demand the same civil rights and freedoms that are enjoyed by every other American citizen.